Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to add and subtract the similar radicals. Okay, so let's talk about the similar radicals. When we say the similar radicals, they are radicals with either same index but different radicand, radicals with different index but same radicand, or radicals with different index and different radicand. So here are the steps in adding and subtracting the similar radicals. So first is to simplify each term. Second is to combine like radicals. So let's move on to our example. Okay, let's have an example. For example, we're given this expression and we're going to simplify this. So in this case, since, since we have the similar radicals, we need to simplify each term. So for the first term, we need to simplify this. What's the square root of 100? That is 10. What's the square root of a? Cannot be, so we have 10 square root of a. Then we have minus. Let's simplify this term. So what's the square root of 9? That is 3. Then the, what's the square root of a? Cannot be, so we have 2. Just copy square root of a. Then plus, okay, get the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5. And then, what's the square root of a? That is just square root of a. Now, in this case, now in this case, we have similar terms already. And so we have square root of a for each term. So we will now apply the rules in adding similar radicals. So we have square root of a, copy square root of a, and then combine our coefficients. So we have 10 minus 3 plus 5. So let's combine like terms. We have 10 minus 3, that is 7, plus 5, that is our final answer will be 12 square root of a. And that will be our final Answer. So let's have an example. For example, we are given this expression and we're going to simplify this. So first thing that we need to do is for us to simplify each term. So the square root of 32 is, we need to factor 32 so it can be factored into 16 times 2. Okay, minus the factored form of 18 that is 9 times 2. Okay, then let's simplify. What's the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. And then the square root of 2 is just the square root of 2. Okay? Minus, what's the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3. Okay? And the square root of 2 is square root of 2. And after that, we can now observe that we have a similar radical. So we will just copy the similar radical and then combine our coefficient. We have 4 minus 3. Okay? Do not forget to place them inside the parentheses. And then we will now combine them. 4 minus 3 is 1. So our final answer will be equal to 1 square root of 2 or just simply square root of 2. Okay? So that will be our final answer. Okay, so let's have an example. For example, we're given this expression. So in order for us to combine them, we must first simplify each term. So if we're simplifying, ayan, if we're simplifying radicals, Okay, I advise you to do this. So if we're given a radical that is not divisible by the index, we're just simply going to division. So 3 divided by 2, we will have 1 remainder 1. So in short, we will have 1a from the outside and another a from the inside of the radical symbol. The exponent of a from the outside will be based from the, exp from the whole number or from the whole number when we divide 3 and 2. Okay, so that will be the exponent of a outside. And the 1 inside will be based from the remainder. So that will be 1. Okay, and then the square root of b is simply the square root of b. So this will be our first term. Plus, okay, the square root of 4 is 2. Then the square root of, and the square root of a cube will be, so let's divide 3 divided by 2. That is 1 remainder 1. So there will be a outside and another a inside. So the exponent of a outside will be 1. The exponent of a inside will be 1. And then the square root of b is square root of b. Then next, let's proceed to the third term. Plus, 
Can we still simplify this? If you cannot, we will just simply copy 3a square root of ab. Now, what can you observe? They have the same radicals. Ayan. So, we're going to copy the radical square root of ab. And then, after that, we're going to add or combine all the coefficients. So, we're going to add or combine. So, we have a plus 2a plus 3a. So, let's add a plus 2a plus 3a. We have 6a. So, our final answer will be 6a times the square root of ab. And that will be our final answer. Now that you already know how to add and subtract the similar radicals, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to practice our skill. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.